cams here, Mount Sinai Medical Center Tower Cam it is. And uh, still looks a bit gloomy out there, but certainly uh, cleaning up and clearing up from what it looked like earlier today, Betty. It's starting to look more like a date night in Miami. Uh oh, you know? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I'm sure somebody's stepping out. Somebody's going to have a date. Okay. Oh, absolutely. But if you are heading out, you should know we're under a flood watch through tomorrow evening. An additional one to three inches of rainfall. Maybe some localized areas get a bit more than that once we get more of the soaking storm setting up. Doesn't appear as though we're going to have widespread storms setting up for the rest of the evening. So our big soakers of earlier this afternoon have dissipated and we're a lot drier in Miami Dade. Broward, we're keeping an eye on things, especially off to the west where we have a boundary there and a few leftover boundaries that may interact and produce a few more showers that could run in our direction. But with the atmosphere being so worked over, I'm not necessarily expecting strong storms, but we don't want to rule out a passing shower. I'll keep an eye on what we see uh, west of US 27. Maybe we get a shower eventually migrating back over toward Weston or Coral Springs. But the rain chance is lower for tonight and then tomorrow it's going to go higher. Our future radar not necessarily painting a lot of rainfall over Broward and Dade for this evening. It is showing a few showers around say 11 p.m. and overnight around the Keys. But on Saturday it shows a mostly dry start for Broward and Dade and it takes daytime heating to get some more of those storms forming over the Everglades and then watch the motion. They run east northeastward so they come back over Metro and Broward Metro and Coastal Broward and Miami Dade tomorrow afternoon. So more so Soaking storms in the forecast for our Saturday. While we get soaking storm, soaking storms, we'll also be keeping an eye on Arlene. Still a tropical storm at this point, but later tonight it starts to weaken as it runs into hostile uh, conditions over the Gulf of Mexico waters, moving southeastward. So this is not a system that's headed for Florida. It stays away, but it does keep some moisture near us, and that moisture will be fuel for our storms tomorrow and maybe even for Sunday. We'll have some more storms developing with daytime heating rain chance trending lower next Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Christy. Okay. Looks good.